Hello, this is Paul again, and I'm creating a totally different layout now. Now, those that remember my last layout, which is over here, uh, the world's first uh, British O-gauge fully 3D printed layout. But by the way, the locomotives are not supposed to be on the road. I just moved them for now. So that's my last layout. I'm going to create a totally new one now. And I've got interest in what is called micro layouts. Now micro layouts are layouts that are no bigger than four foot by one foot square. So you've got four um, times one foot area altogether. So what I've done is I've divided this up. Uh, I've got it 32 inches across and 18 inches deep on this board. It's not been cut yet. And I thought, what can I do as a theme for this? And I really wanted to do a, 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 a railway station. And I wanted to get as much in as possible. So I already had some buildings. Um, so I already had some of this platform here already made up. I'd already printed it and designed it. The uh, main railway station buildings I've done. I've recreated this very recently. That's just a very small signal box. Uh, I'd already made some suitcases that were done in resin. I made a new um, coal office, a little bit different to the one that was on the previous layout. I've got some coal staves, so I might actually change those though. Uh, I printed a load of new track, and this particular building I was going to put on the first layout, the last one that you saw. Um, but I decided not to, I thought I'd, and so I decided to utilise that. So I've had to sort of put in quite a lot in a very short space, um, basically. I'm going to have three buffers. These are modelled from the actual, uh, from a website uh, that actually showed drawings of these particular buffers. They're fairly simple, that's one of the reasons I chose them. There's going to be one there, one at this end, and one here. So I've effectively got at the front, I've got three pieces of track. This is to very strict O gauge standard. Now when I say strict in terms of dimensions, this is plastic track, it's not metal. So, and I'm going to look at metalizing uh, track in another short video soon. Uh, we've got another, we've got the actual point or switch or turn out, whatever you want to call it. I've got a left hand one this time. The uh, other layout that I had had right hand turnouts we we'll just have a quick look there's the other layer of a right hand turnout there this one you can see what the raw plastic looks like is just pla um, there are some pieces here to add to it you can see the actual moving parts there and then i've got a, a track coming up here and a track coming off here and what's good is also at the back i've got a track here that goes to the platform so the platform is kind of split in two and basically, at this end here, I'm going to have the fiddle yard. And then I'm going to probably have some kind of wall with some kind of um, tunnels coming out of here for each of the tracks, effectively. And that kind of closes that off a little bit. So that's what we have so far. So what I'm going to do in the next video is we're going to, well, what I'm going to do is, is make a series of these videos and show you how I paint all this up and how I kind of come out with it. And so we can see what we've got. And let me just see if I can give you an overview of all this. It's not easy with this um, with this device I've got. This is actually a phone I'm using. Um, I don't know if you can see it properly there. But that's a general overview of what we've got. And so I think it'd be a nice little layout. I'm going to put some fences on it, of course. Uh, we'll look at making some fences. And I'm going to make this layout so everything lights up on it so the coal house is going to light up and all the stations are light up i might possibly show a little bit of detail inside the station i'm not sure yet i generally want to get make sure it's got a really really good atmosphere that's one of the biggest things i want to do now another thing i'm doing at the moment is i'm working on some figures and i'm just pulling one across they're not finished by any means. Here's one here, um, if you can see that. Uh, I'm afraid this one really messed up. Um, it didn't turn out very well. And I've, I've certainly not finished painting it. 
Well, this, this, this particular figure was made in a, a program called Make Human, which is a program, program that you can get. It allows you to uh, make a human effectively. Can't get that in focus very well. Um, but it allows you to make a figure, and I sort of had to mess around a bit with the sort of clothes and, and the poses to get some of that. I thought, well, I could maybe use that. Oh, this is probably going to be like a um, an engine driver or something like that that would go on like an industrial kind of site. They wouldn't normally dress like that, but on industrial sites they seem to not be too, they don't tend to have uniforms as much. Oh, by the way, a couple of things I do want to mention before I go. Um, there is a magazine out there uh, which is called The Dispatch. Um, now, if you go to, if you look on the web for someone called Jim Reed, card locomotive you'll find Jim Reed's site now Jim Reed makes some absolutely fantastic models he actually inspired me to make a micro layout and he did actually inspire me to you know when I saw what he could make I thought yeah I could do that I can do that in 3d plastic um, now he does his stuff in card but if you go to his site Jim Reed's um, card model you want to look up there is a link on there for a magazine called The Dispatch, which is a very new magazine, just come out. I hope to feature in it uh, in the near future. And that hat is just about micro layouts uh, from around the world. Very interesting magazine. Uh, so certainly have a look at that. Uh, as for these models I'm making, I'm not sure about selling them. I don't know what I'm going to do exactly with them. If I was a, a man who uh, didn't have to worry about working and all that kind of stuff, I'd quite happily give my models away. I wouldn't have a problem at all. And um, I'll be one thing I will mention before I go is that my models, I am very, very meticulous and careful about how I make them. I like them to be accurate. I like them to be true scale, particularly with the locomotives and the wagons, but also the buildings. You know, I've mentioned before the bricks that I make on them. I like them to look really good. The track is, in my opinion, very, very much to scale. Everything is. Like this little man here is 42 millimeters tall. That makes him six foot. Of course, I should make some smaller people because everybody's six foot. But there you go. Anyway, happy modeling. Hope you enjoyed this. Have a great day. Bye for now.